Hey, what's up? This is Chosen. Wake up. It's Monday morning, December 6th, and it is time to get you caught up and get the week kicked off here for Raid Shadow Legends, where we will go over what is happening in the game and what is coming up early in the week here so that you have full context of everything going on in game. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so the first thing to take note of is this announcement right here coming down from Polarium earlier this morning, letting us know that 5.00 is going to start updating on people's devices and stuff, but, but it's not going to actually hit the game quite yet, but the Hydra is almost here. And I have mentioned this once before, but I want to make sure and drive it home. I know everybody is excited about the Empower system. But anyway, uh, if you are going to be empowering champions, uh, hold off a little bit until you get a feel for how the Hydra is going to play because we can only use champions uh, like very sparingly versus the Hydra. So let's say you've got two of a really good champion. Uh, you may want that champion in two different Hydra teams and you may regret uh, empowering that champion and, how, and now only having one of them at your disposal. So uh, go ahead and hang off just a little bit until we see exactly how the Hydra teams are going to shake out and who exactly you're going to be using before you go ahead and, and start making legendaries more powerful that you have. Then as far as the shard rotation for this week, you can see here this is a this is a screenshot from my uh, from my offer calculator that's linked in the in the description of all my videos. Uh, I added a section on there that shows the rotation and then also the next date that each shard will be buffed up as long as Plarium goes with their normal plan. So what we can see here is that in a few days on Friday we should be getting two X voids and then after that on Christmas Eve will be the uh, the two X ancients and then in between we will have a ten X of event so uh, that is going to be on the offer sheet if you ever want to be able to track that i know i was getting confused because plarium was throwing all of these crazy events at us they were buffing every shard 10 x's and guaranteed summon events and me as somebody who's doing raid five six hours a day every single day even i was getting confused like where are we at on the rotation of what's going on here so i'm like screw it i'm just going to add it to the to the offer sheet that way it's always there anybody can look at it whenever they like and then i can track it a lot more successfully then as far as clan stuff going on right now, obviously the uh, clan quests are going to be coming to a close today. You can see here there's only a few hours up there up top, so you're going to want to focus on your clan quest today. And Plarium has thrown us for a loop on CVC. They tried it out during the weekend. They're, they're really switching things around, and uh, we, we, we saw CVC start at a time we have never seen it before. So I don't know if we're going to have this week off and then have one on Tuesday, like eight days from now, because they usually do them on Tuesdays. I don't know if they're going to have one eight days from now or if they're going to wait like 15 days, skip a week and get back to the normal rotation. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, but I do videos like this uh, kind of covering everything going on in raid two or three times a week and I will keep you in the loop a a as soon as I know exactly when the next CVC is going to be. Uh, but we've got both of the, the, the CVC or the CVC event like your match and the clan quest ending today. So make sure you're getting all that clan stuff in that you're trying to get done for your team. And then also a very common question right now is when is the holiday fusion going to start? What is going on with that? We don't have any details as far as what the champion is going to look like or what the kit is or how that's going to function. But we can predict based on the fusion history. If you see right here, December 19, this little line right here is the start of the month. So you can see right in the middle of the month around like the 12th, 13th, 14th is when Torment started. And then up here, uh, if we scroll up, we can see Pixneal, same thing, December of 20 and then right in the middle. So somewhere between December 10th and December 17th, somewhere in that week is when the holiday fusions should be launching. So somewhere in the next like five to 10 days, we will start getting a ton of details on the launch of the Holiday Fusion. And hopefully uh, it's a really good champion because we are due. It's been a long time that we've had a, a really solid fusion in the game, especially uh, with Pixneo being uh, last year's champion that they added to the game. Was super disappointing with the 18 books required for a very meh champion. So hopefully they get it right this year and we've got an awesome uh, Holiday Season Fusion kicking off soon. 
which ends up meaning that right now is kind of the calm before the storm, before things are going to get crazy and hectic for what I anticipate to be a pretty crazy holiday fusion this year. But worth noting and keeping you in the loop that tomorrow we're going to be getting a 2x Shadowkin event for the spider. And then we've got some big artifact events coming up. We're going to have the Dragon Lair uh, with a 2x speed event that lasts 72 hours. And that is going to be starting on December 10th in four days. And then after that, we're going to be getting a 2x Savage event in the Fire Knights Castle on Monday, December 13th, exactly a week from now. So uh, lots of big opportunities to really spend tons of energy going after speed and savage gear, most notably. I don't think the Shadowkin accessory uh, event is going to interest you as much, but definitely the speed and savage gear probably will. And you can obviously see this reflected in game right here under the spider tournament starting tomorrow. That's going to be the 2x Shadowkin uh, where you've got a better opportunity to get some of those accessories for the newest faction in the game. Uh, in terms of what else is going on, you've got a normal champion training. Uh, don't feel bad about missing out on this. Like I said, this is kind of an opportunity to catch your breath and, and get ready, save up some resources for uh, the holiday season fusion. But uh, you, you do want to get stuff done for CVC if you're in a close match, obviously. The Ice Golem tournament is the same thing. This is just a normal tournament. You don't got to feel bad about missing out on that either. And then we already covered the Spider tournament that's going to be kicking off tomorrow, coinciding with the Shadowkin uh, accessory event. The Artifact Enhancement event is going to be ending in a couple days. You want to at least get the 1500, but it's also a good opportunity. You get decent points for upgrading artifacts during CVC. So at least get the 1500 uh, today during CVC, I would say. And then the Dungeon Divers is going to be coinciding with whatever you are grinding in game. We've got a couple days left on this. So if you do try to scoop up some of these Shadowkin accessories, you'll at least double dip a little bit for a Dungeon Divers and getting to 3k won't hurt because there are core hammers up for grabs as well. Then obviously on Mondays, it is arena reset time. So make sure you have got your one person or meme defenses set so that we can all farm up CVC points and farm up the bizarre tokens. And obviously get your uh, get your classic arena in order. And by the way, uh, we are getting gold five to be launching soon. So I know a lot of you out there, like 70, 75% of you are in gold four. Uh, maybe it's time to start focusing on that arena team a little bit more. Even if you've been farming gold four for months at this point, uh, we are going to be getting a gold five at some point so start getting that arena roster really in order because i'm a, I, like usually the end game uh for the forge the bottleneck ends up being magisteel so uh it is going to be important to go up to gold five if you can because you'll get more magisteel that you can then spend in the forge during cvc and to get better gear uh and some of those insane new sets like the lethal set coming to the forge and stuff like that so uh yeah go ahead and focus on that because uh when that launches i i anticipate the classic arena will get pretty competitive again so now we can take a look in the shop and go over this real quick. So we've got the monthly pack. Okay, we all know the drill there. That's about a 2.5. Uh, the mini mix is the same. It's about a 2.7, 2.8. Both of these are decent purchases if you're just looking for general utility spending on raid typically. Uh, but let's go over some of the stuff you may not be familiar with. Uh, faction accessories, $20 for five-star accessories is not going to cut it. Uh, the contender pack, we can plug this one in. I've seen this one before, but it's not super common. So we've got six arena refills. Okay. And then we're going to go two and two on the tomes. And then we're going to go four, four star chicken, which is a 1.67. So not that great. Uh, the pack string, $5. Um, this looks okay. It looks decent. Not amazing, but decent. It's probably like a 1.8, 1.9 or something uh, in terms of the whole string. And then uh, we've got the mini pack there. So really nothing. Uh, like I said, it's really kind of a, a calm, catch your breath type of time in raid right now before things really ramp up with the release of the Hydra and the holiday season both coming to you soon uh, with the fusion. So alrighty, I am going to head on over to stream. If you would like to stop by and say hi, the link will be down below in the pinned comment where I will be live for the next few hours getting the week kicked off here. And uh, I know uh, some of you are hyped up about the new soft launch of Awaken Chaos Era. I did finally get the tier list out over the weekend. So if you missed that, the tier list will be down below. If you're diving into that game, uh, there is a uh, there's at least my opinion on some of the champions. It's not going to be perfect because the game is still new, but I'm going to be changing it as I play and as I learn more. That is just kind of my first thoughts on some of the champions in that game so that you can find that down below if you are looking to try out something new as well. And if not, uh, anyways, thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day. Peace.